welcome back to my channel if you're new what is up my name is Nicole definitely make sure you subscribe definitely make sure you like and definitely make sure you comment so that you can be notified every time I upload a video in today's video I'm gonna be doing a hair review first impression slash style with me a tea part wig this video is in collaboration with super B wigs Thank you so much to them for collaborating with me and sponsoring today's video. They sent over their 13 by 6 teapot wig, 150 density, 14 inches. This is what she looks like. So, she is beautiful. Again, 14 inches, 150 density, 13 by 6 teapot wig. And if you don't know what teapot wigs are, it's basically where the lace is sewn like a tee so you only have a bit of lace down here in the middle and you've got lace on the sides I think wigs like this are great because they are like really well constructed the fact that it's only um, got lace in the front guarantees a bit more security like I said we're going to try it out for the first time I've tried like frontals and stuff before and they work really well but I've never tried a tea part wig um, but it looks like it's going to provide a bit more stability on your head because with lace it just moves around too much so this looks great this is also great for girls who only wear their hair in one way so like me I like side parts but I am a middle part girl at heart I remember years ago I was only wearing side parts you would never catch me in a middle part but now I only wear middle parts you barely catch me in a side part and this is just gonna make things so much easier for me because where I would have to find the middle part in the middle of the lace because this is a teapot wig this already has the parting in for me so it's easy for me to just throw on take her off when I'm done and maneuver carry on with my day without me worrying about having to find the part and when I wash the hair again because the part is already here because it's a teapot wig it just makes things so much easier so I 100% love that about this this is also their dyed wig so it's got two blonde streaks in the front um, one on either side I'm super excited about this wig as well because I don't know if you guys, obviously you lot don't know me in real life, but to those of you who know me in real life, who watch my videos, thank, first of all, thank you so much, shout out to you, I love you all so much. You guys know I put on my snap literally like three months ago how I was considering dyeing my own hair, my own relaxed hair, I was considering dyeing the front two pieces blonde like this and I got so many mixed reviews, so many mixed opinions, so many, everybody popped up to my snap and was giving me mixed opinions like do it, don't do it, don't do it, da 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 da, da. and I never ended up doing it because I'm too scared and um, yeah like I, I just never ended up doing it, just too many opinions, too many things to think about, I just didn't know. So when they wanted to send this to me I was filled with joy because now I can actually test it out to see how I like it with the two stripes on this fabulous wig without the commitment of doing it on my hair and this is why I love wigs you guys because you can literally try out so many different styles mix and match give it a go and see how you like it without the commitment so where I'm able to test this out if I don't like the streaks I can just dye it blonde blonde brown I can just dye it brown to match the color of the rest of the hair which is 1b this is super thick by the way this is really nice and full, 14 inches, 150 density. Make sure you use my code that will be here on the screen so you can get some money off. And make sure you check the links in the description bar because you can also find links to this hair, everything else on their website. And also my code will be there as well in case you didn't see it on screen, but it will be on screen and down there. So check out both and use my code and you can save some money. But yeah, like you can literally try out different styles, have your desired style for a day, for an hour, for a week, for a month without the commitment, without worrying that you are ruining quote unquote or damaging your own hair for a temporary look. And if you're someone like me who has relaxed hair as well, I'm very skeptical about dyeing my hair because my hair's already chemically altered, it's already chemically treated. I've seen like a bunch of videos on YouTube where girls who have had relaxed hair have dyed their hair and their hair seems to be okay. I have dyed my hair many moons ago. Um, this is probably like the longest my hair has been without me dyeing it. Um, Cause before like 2020, I always had dyed hair. So this is like, 
the longest my hair's been since I was like 13 via being dyed and I really do like my natural hair colour but I, I want to dye it ginger. I really want ginger, red, auburn, fall leaves, autumn leaves type of hair on my head but I'm not sure about dyeing it because my hair is relaxed and it's already chemical. You, know, you get what I'm saying but with wigs you can try it, you can see how you like it. If you don't like it, it's no commitment, you can always dye the wig, there's no damage to your hair and if you do like it and you really want to try it out and you really want it to be permanent, at least you have a wig to throw on and off. Please change your style. So yeah, I love this. I can't wait to try her on. So let's just get right into it. So in the box they give you wig caps. Love, 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 love. They also give you a cute hair tie as well but um yeah they give you a nice little hair tie i love this love this they also give you two adjustable straps at the back um like elastic bands that you can use um you know you just it's like bra strap bands basically and you just connect it like that and then you can sew this to the back of your wig so it's like this and that will just give you a little bit more security and make the wig a little bit more snug i love this i love when company do this as well because you know they're being thoughtful they care about everyone everybody's head shape and size is different so what is tight for you is too tight for someone else and what is loose for you is perfect on somebody else you know so i love that they give you the option to be able to make this work for you so yeah that's everything that comes in the box we are now going to style this wig on our head and we're going to test it out i'm so excited let's just get right into it okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to comb my edges back they do have a little bit of gel on them so oh ciao i'm just gonna brush them back okay so first things first i look very crazy if you see like white stuff in my hair it's because i had edge gel on my edges and i've literally just like brushed her out but what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to gather all my hair like so and i'm just gonna put her in a low bun at the back nape of my neck you guys know how we do you know how we do i'm gonna take my stocking cap my wig cap I'm going to place her on my head like so making sure all my hair is like back so it should look like leash okay I'm trying to decide do I want to do the bold cap method or do I not want to do the bold cap method What do I want to do? <laughs> now I'm going to take my wig. They do give you combs in the wig as well. So there's two combs on either side and then there's a comb at the back. So if you're someone who likes using combs, then you can definitely like use the combs. I'm not going to because I find that combs actually rip my hair, like they snag my hair. So I don't like using them. But this is what I mean, like this one already has the straps in it, but because it's like a bra strap hook, you can just connect it like this. I'm going to need to obviously put something on my cap because this just looks very... This is giving wig. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely going to need to like put some bronzer on it. But this is what she looks like, giving very much scalp. I love this looks very very cute so i placed her on just so i can get a feel for what she's gonna look like on my head and as you guys saw she fits very nice she looks very natural and nice and snug but i need to do something with this cat i'm gonna take some lace tint spray this is an almond um this is by uh hair by shop shop h yeah it'll be linked down below guys my english anyways <laughs> i'm just gonna spray this over my cap and it's just, just gonna tint the cap so that um, you know it looks a bit more like scalp okay so now that we have sprayed everything down I'm now gonna put her back on
so yeah guys this is what she looks like just straight on so she hasn't been styled i love these blonde streaks in the front i love them and this isn't too far from my hair's natural length my hair is just a little bit shorter like here this is super cute I'm gonna clip her back this hair is so nice it's so silky it's 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 mimicking my relaxed hair like this hair is so silky and even though this is a teapot wig I'm able to like flip her obviously she looks a bit crazy but I'm able to like flip her in different directions because of how silky smooth she is like this is very silky very very silky hair very nice i'm not getting any shedding or tangles running my fingers through it <clears throat> very 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 nice like this is a nice wig so i've just clipped her back so we can make the snips i was thinking about plucking her but because she's a teapot wig i'm not really like I'm not really going to be wearing it any other way other than the middle part because that's what it's made for. So, and they like it's very full here. I might pluck a little bit. So my mirror is so far away from me, it's kind of hard to like fully see what I'm doing. But yeah, so you should have like three sections so, like one here, one on the sides, and that's just going to help everything look a bit better it's going to make it easier for you to like glue it down so next i'm going to take my olive oil fix it super hold spray this is the one that i have on hand right now <clears throat> i'm just going to spray it i'm just going to spray her down spray the lace down make sure you get her in place as well where you want her to like sit If you have a blow dryer now would be a good time to use it and just blow dry it down okay so now that I've sprayed her down I'm going to just take a silk scarf and I'm just gonna tie her down even more Ooh. I'm just gonna tie her down and this is just gonna make sure that she stays glued So we're just going to tie her down for about 10 minutes and then when it's time to take her off I will be right back. Alright you guys so I went ahead and cut the lace off camera. I didn't show this because and I'm really mad that I didn't but my mirror is so far away from me I was not risking cutting my forehead for the sake of a video absolutely not i'm still trying to like work out my um filming situation because i like how this looks minus the plugs these are getting moved um so i'm still like figuring out what i like and how i like it but for right now my mirror is far away i can see what i'm doing but it's not close enough to where i can see what i'm doing if you know what i mean so i went ahead and cut it off camera all i did was i took a razor which looks like this i got these from super drug this is like the best razor Ever, the super drug ones I think it comes in like a pack of 10 or something they're super sharp and I use this to cut the lace that way I wouldn't have like any straight cuts I wanted it to be jagged so it looks natural and as you can see she looks like she is growing out of my scalp like this looks like my natural hair this looks like my relaxed hair this does not look like I'm wearing a wig at all. She looks like my relaxed hair. And I love the little peekaboo stripes that they have going on in the front. Um, I think it's a really, really, really cute touch that they've added to this wig. I do wish that it started a little bit higher. So I wished the blonde started right up to the, the part because I feel like it would just be a bit more flattering personally um, some people might like it like this but my own personal preference I do wish it started a lot higher um, that's just my only thing but the hair is beautiful it's so short soft it's so soft I mean it's really shiny really shiny it's really silky there is no product in the hair at all I literally just took her out of the pack like you guys saw glued her on 
tied her down, cut it, and this is what she looks like. We are gonna have to do a little bit of work because as you can see, like it's a bit bumpy at the back from where it was in the packet and I'm just gonna like press her out do the part a little bit I don't mind if the part isn't like a hundred percent straight because I feel like it looks a lot more natural when it is like this than when it is a super straight sleek part if you know what I mean but we are gonna finesse her so she looks a little bit more natural so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my olive oil mousse I'm gonna take three pumps of this I'm just going to put her on the roots of the wig. This is just going to keep all the flyaways down. See, look, already, just by applying mousse, it has flattened her down. So she looks even more flat. Like, there's no hump in the back like there was before. There is a little hump here, which I'm going to, like, finesse and sort out. But for the most part, she looks so much flatter which is what you want if you're wearing a wig like this that is like straight because it will look the most natural take my comb I'm just gonna comb her down this hair is so nice this hair is so nice like literally guys if i if i have those moments where i want to wear my natural hair down but i don't want to damage it or do anything to it this is the wig that I'm no doubt going to be wearing because it is like pretty similar to the length of my natural hair. It doesn't look like I'm wearing a wig. She looks super natural. You can't even see the lace. Like this literally looks like it is growing out of my scalp. It is such a beautiful wig. It's so easy to apply. It's very snug at the back and it doesn't require me to put any damage or do any damage to my hair. Like. You guys know I'm trying to grow out my hair as well, but I don't want to put a lot of heat on it like I did last year when I first relaxed it because I do want it to grow. And this is going to be like a really good everyday wig for me to just throw on because it looks exactly like my hair. I've just plugged in my hot comb, hence why you can see two plugs behind me. I really want to get this moved. I hate that the plugs are so high. Anyways, um, I'm waiting for this to warm up, which is warming up really well. This is the Wall one, W-A-H. L hot comb and I'm just going to use this to press out the little hump that I have at the back here as you guys can see because I want this wig to be super flat I mean she is flat for the most part but I just want to flatten her out a little bit more so um, I'm just going to like use my hot comb to do that and this is just going to make sure that everything is like really really smooth there's no flyaways there's no bumps and it just looks so natural. As you can see, just by hot combing it, this side is a lot flatter than this side. Magic. <laughs> and the mousse really helps as well to do that because it's just going to help to set it so it actually stays like this. So now that I have hot combed her, I'm now going to go ahead and add in some cute little flips. I'm not going to do like curls because I do want to wear this in a straight style, but I am going to bump the ends. It's just my straightener. Um, I am going to bump the ends because I do want to see how that looks with this wig. I feel like this length is so nice. This, guys, this is a really nice wig. Like, this wig is so soft. She straightens. She's straightened so well as well and she's soft I love it I'm just gonna add flips in the hair All right, so this is what she looks like. <gasps> I love it. I love it with the little waves and the little swoops that we have. So pretty. <gasps> this looks so pretty, you guys. She looks so natural. She looks just like my own hair. 
and I love it. I, I, I love it. Overall, I'm so impressed with this wig. Like, she's so shiny. Guys, I wish you could feel it through the screen. Like, she is so, so silky. It's so dreamy to like, just run my fingers through this hair. It literally feels amazing. There's no split ends, there's no tangles. Even the blonde bits as well, they don't feel drier than the rest of the hair. They, it feels like the same, like it all feels really, 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 really nice. Like the quality of this wig is just like amazing. And um, yeah, I'm just so impressed with this wig. She's super flat. Like I said, I do wish the streaks were a little bit higher. Um, just so that you know it, it would it would just look a bit more natural I feel like it's just even more natural if the streaks were a bit higher because it's definitely giving me that like grown out lived in type of look which is really cute but I do wish for future reference that this was a little bit higher just the peekaboo stripes um, but other than that like this wig is super cute obviously I pressed it out to where you know it's down and flat but what I love about this and the feeling and the fact that it is so silky is you can literally just run your fingers through her and you can you know like bump her up like the front pieces you can bump her up and kind of have her down so you can get a bit more volume in, in the front if that's what you like but I like wearing mine where it looks flat down like this because that's typically how I would wear it and how I would wear my own natural hair but I just really love this I think this is so pretty and it's really convenient as well you guys so it didn't take me long to apply and she just feels so luscious and just so nice guys if you see me wear this wig a lot on my Instagram don't ask questions <laughs> don't ask questions because this is my hair Thank you so much to Super B Wigs for collaborating with me and sponsoring today's video and thank you so much for sending over this beautiful tea part. Let's not forget, this is a tea part wig, 150 density. Okay, thank you so much for sending this over. I can't wait to try more from like their website. They have other wigs on their website, headband wigs, curly straight, frontals closures, you part, you name it. Um, but I was super, super excited and impressed to try a tea part because I'd never tried one before. Before and I really like it and like I said I always wear my hair in the middle part so this makes the most sense if you are a middle part girl like me you will love it as much as I have so yeah thank you again to them for sponsoring today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe comment all that good stuff make sure you also check the description box down below because I'll have all the details to this wig as well as a coupon code so you guys can save some money because saving money is really important I'm not even joking so make sure you check my link so you can get some money off when you purchase this beautiful wig i really hope you guys enjoyed this video once again take care stay safe i love you all and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.